right youtube what's up it's your boy jmma here man i'm back with another one man today um i saw someone really go on twitter and ask i forgot who it was i put the tweet on the screen if i find it they pretty much asked uh i would love to see someone do an in-depth review on calves creative fighters in ufc4 so i say why not I do that. I have a I have a pretty good experience. I got a pretty not a lot a pretty good knowledge about the Cavs. I pretty much a good understanding of them. So I say why not break them down? We're gonna go through every single archetype, every single variation of the Cavs. All right. So without further ado, let's get into it, man. If y'all haven't already, man, please sub up, join the family, join the gang, and here we go, man. All right. So the first one is gonna be. Jiu-Jitsu Vanguard, all right. Jiu-Jitsu Vanguard. This is probably the one y'all probably see the most um in ranked with most cheesers use. Uh when the game first came out, Jiu-Jitsu Vanguard was fucking OP because of the double leg bells and then the standing guillotine you you being able to walk around with it. Things like that. So Vanguard was pretty much OP, kind of got patched out, but it's, it's still very good good for cheesers that's why you see it a lot but it has the wake up call perk the skirmisher perk the taekwondo perk the nightmare perk and the crafty perk uh the perk that's most uh valuable to this is the wake up call and the taekwondo because they have the cheesy spinning heel kick to the head spinning heel kick to the spinning side kick to the body lead body side kick they have oblique kicks the only kick that they do that they do not have is the jumping spinning kick to the body and the switch kick the every other kick standing they have they have axe kicks wheel kicks uh the hook kick they have that and plus they have they don't have as great boxing but they do have a uh, very good uh very good leg kicks as well so gotta be careful with the these jiu-jitsu vanguards and that's let's go through uh hold on. my dumbass i didn't go through the motherfucking moves let's go through the moves shall we okay as a one star jab like i said the boxing ain't really that great so all the punches are pretty much one star except the least spinning back fist and then the spinning back fist but the kicks though two star calf kick uh roundhouse two star so all these are two star like i said they have the side kick the lead side kick the hook side kick the lead hook kick the body front kick <laughs> body side kick like they have all these variations of the kicks the oblique kicks lead body side kick. like this is crazy they have a hand plan i didn't even know that the lead spin inside so they have the one going the opposite way and the other one going the other way that that's crazy to me so they have all these kicks they have a tornado kick cartwheel kick lead flying knee they have a flying knee as well so this is just a vanguard it's very tricky and the, the, i mean the spinning hill kick to the head kind of puts the icing on the cake for me uh let's look at the clinch obviously the, the clinching is it's not too bad i mean the clinch control is pretty good i go see it a lot for, for vanguard for jujitsu uh archetype it's not that bad but the takedowns my goodness pretty well rounded three star single leg three lot three uh star double leg three star power single three star uh power double wrestling takedowns a three star judo and brazilian jiu-jitsu takedowns a three star now this is where it gets dicey get ups the ground transitions the reversals and sweeps all right the ground striking you really don't you don't gotta worry, worry about this too much ground and pounding that's more of the next archetype uh, type which would be a wrestler that's a whole different thing these get ups or star bjj get ups but um, that means they have the two get ups from side control they have the get ups from uh full guard for get ups from uh full mount uh half guard and backside i believe that's the four if i'm not mistaken um hold on let me let's go back in that's something else oh what is it i'm trying to think of uh what it is oh the reversals all right they have four they have left four fucking ground transitions let's look at these ground transitions back mount to back sitting so you can flip someone if you're on top you can flip them from back mount to back sitting that's crazy they have to have guard i, I mean everybody has that they have the full guard posture up to psych and that's crazy so if you're in full guard right, 
and like you have the stamina advantage on your opponent you can literally just transition them into full uh to side control uh they obviously have the full guard to rubber guard so if you get in this position right here and you're there on the bottom they have the rubber guard all right they also have the cage pass from side control as well a lot of, a lot of other people have that as well but this is what i want to talk about right here these i believe it's the reversals or the sweeps i can't remember all these reversals are pretty cool but the one that i'm talking about is the one from full mount so you're in full mount right they literally arm trap you and then put you in now you wind up they're in your guard now basically so it, it looks like they're they're transitioning you know how they transition into full guard it looks like that transition but they arm trap and then they sweep you uh on your back so basically now they're in your guard which is which will ooh, tongue twister which would be full guard which is crazy i mean the, the the sweep itself is pretty slow so you can you can deny it every time but the fact that they have this comes in handy because if you're on the bottom and you know the denies from uh from full amount and you get that transition boy that's a game changer a real game changer submissions i mean we do really have to go over this man it's jujitsu vanguard man four star leg locks i really feel like all these should be five star from being honest but that would be too op and that wouldn't that would probably make it five star four and a half star probably they have an imminent roll as well be on the lookout for that and i believe they have the old gastry trip if i'm not mistaken uh let's see they do no they don't they don't have the gastry trip uh let's see the agastri how do you say that shit yes they do they have this trip as well the cheesy ass trip that trip right there they have that as well so y'all just gotta be careful um they have one star boxing combinations three star kickboxing combinations one star muay thai and three star traditional so your traditional combinations are gonna be these combinations right here uh the one two into the hand plant well the straight lee hook into the hand plant then a straight lee hook into the 360 tornado then lee by the roundhouse into the sidekick so that's a combo that i use a lot with wonder boy so yeah eh, traditional combos like that all right the next one gonna be jujitsu sock which is one that you don't see a lot this is more the grapple heavy side of them this one is actually pretty it has pretty good boxing but on the ground i pre i feel like it's a little bit better than vanguard it has a three-star jab uh three-star lead hook um everything else is pretty standard it has a two-star lead body and it has a two-star over and it's just simple straightforward and it does not have the lead or regular spinning back fist it does not have that the kicks though this one isn't as kick heavy like I said, this is this one is more on the grappling grappling side, so this one isn't really that kick heavy. Um, in my opinion, I know a lot of people they like going to the ground. They like uh, they're like I like boxing, but I'm really not that good at kickboxing. And I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, the wrestler archetype and the jujitsu archetype they have wrestler kicks. They, uh, if you use a Korean zombie, someone like a Kelvin Cater. Uh, even the new prime and the silver has these these wrestler the stiff stiff kicks that you see is what all wrestler archetypes have or someone who does not have uh a high amount in the in the kickboxing uh combinations all right you're gonna see that a lot all right this calf does not have the same kicks it, it has majority of them but not the same kicks as the shark it doesn't have the, the cheesy fucking kick to the head it has the oblique kicks but it doesn't have the lead body it doesn't have the lead body side to the body uh both of the spinning uh the spinning side kicks to the body or the spinning head kick to the the spinning head kick it doesn't have any so it has pretty much the traditional chick kicks and it does not have the flying knee so i mean this is pretty like i said if you want to go on the grappling side of things and you like calves you should like jujitsu and you like you know having a lot of submissions i feel like the jujitsu talk would be a little bit better if you like boxing and then just straight up wrestling i feel like this will be a little bit better for you uh the clinch is pretty real around it a little bit worse than uh than the jujitsu vanguard the takedowns are very well rounded they actually have four star judo takedowns which is better than uh the jujitsu vanguard if i'm not mistaken I, yeah i forget that shit very the ground strikes pretty much stay the same the ground striking four star get-ups but this one has uh two-star wrestling get-ups 
uh they have two star wrestling transitions so pretty much like i said this is going to be wrestler heavy so all wrestler reversals sweeps and transitions will be two star and then the submissions they have four star arm bars two star guillotines three star leg locks uh, unlike the jujitsu vanguard which has a four star leg lock they have two star uh, unorthodox chokes and unlike the uh jujitsu vanguard they have four star short locks four star orthodox chokes and that's pretty much it they have the imanari rule as well and i if i'm not mistaken let's see i believe this one has the ogastri trip as well the ogastri how you say that shit yes it has the ogastri strip as well and if you look at the boxing combinations this one has three star boxing combinations but you as, as you can see since it does not have a lot of kicks it does not have the kickboxing combinations traditional com and the traditional combinations because it does not have a lot of kicks uh this one has a one star muay thai combinations and a three star boxing combination out of the two and if you look at the perks they have recharger workhorse wrestle clinic nightmare no cigar which are all wrestler perks in my opinion out of the two i would probably go a jujitsu shark if you in my opinion if you're looking for that heavy wrestling style with all the things that the jiu-jitsu vanguard has on the ground with the arm bars and the ash trips and things like that and you like boxing you're not really a good kickboxer i know some people like boxing but really don't like kickboxing this would be the move for you but if you like kickboxing jiu-jitsu vanguard would be the move they pretty much have similar things but uh j because the vanguard has so many kicks the striking is going to be a tad bit better as far as the rating all right so next let's go into the wrestler now i'm gonna go over the one i'm gonna go over this one first because i have more i have a lot of experience with the wrestler dominator uh when the game first came out i was in a calf league and uh, i use wrestler dominator a lot shout out to agro agro shout out to agro i use wrestler dominator a lot because you know i was fairly new i won't say fairly new to ufc the ufc games but i was fairly new to ufc 4 i really, really wasn't much of a striker in ufc 3 i got ufc 3 very late so i was i was a damn good wrestler so i went wrestler dominator wrestler dominator has the grind the perk the workhorse perk the marathoner perk like glue and wrestle clinic when the game first came out marathoner was fucking op that perk was that perk got patched very fast this perk was op as fuck all right now with the dominators all right i would not fall in love with the striker with the dominators now you see this you'd be like jay they have a three star straight three star hook a three star uppercut and a three star overhand jay why would you not fall in love with the hands it's very 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 slow speed speed is not good on these dominators um the kicks like i said they have the wrestler kicks they don't have a lot of kicks they have the standard kicks you know calf kick a roundhouse lead roundhouse to the head lead roundhouse to the body all that good stuff man the front kicks they don't have many they don't have many kicks all right the clinching though <laughs> the clinch hooks four star clinch out all them strike clip all that four star now the clinch knees are a two star but all the punches and everything four star now when i believe not when the game first came out but i believe still now that a uh, few cheesers that i know still use wrestler dominator because it is right here this lead collar tie clinch is a three star unlike the jiu-jitsu vanguard it is a two star so i mean a lot of people look in, 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 into depth with that if you go to the takedowns i mean it's a wrestler dominator cap so you would expect them to have you know very good takedowns they do not have the old the old how do you say it? the 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 uh the um oh they do have the the uh, uh, ostagari i did not know that i did not know that i thought they didn't so you know i'm i, I just learned something they have the, the also the also the guy how you fucking say that shit they have that trip so that's pretty fucking cheesy considering the rest of the dominators top control is fucking insane all right ground game obviously the ground and pound is going to be very strong since they are wrestlers all four star uh, strikes on the ground obviously the bjj get ups are gonna it's gonna be reversed like when we saw with the bjj shark so when they had the two star wrestling uh they had the two star for the re everything wrestling and then four star for everything uh bjj it's gonna be reversed for the wrestlers it's gonna be four star everything wrestling and the two star everything bjj all right then the submission submissions are okay um they have a few four star ones the or orthodox jokes so those are your uh, japanese neckties your twisters things like that guillotines and then 
your own bars are gonna be a two star as well and then they have two star boxing combinations and then one star muay thai combinations they do not have again they do not have um kickboxing and traditional combinations obviously because of the kicks they do not they have trash kicks these rest of the cats that have trash kicks all right next uh next one is going to be wrestler smasher they have force and nation slam boost light glue wrestle clinic and no cigar they have no cigar as well uh the best perk i oh i didn't do the best perk for for the wrestler dominator the best perk is marathon I, I thought i pretty much said that though but the best perk for wrestler smasher is gonna be the uh the light glue and in my opinion the force of nature i really like the force of nature perks so force of nature basically the incoming damage um it uh so it, say, let's say if your opponent has a uh, not so good stam they have someone like conor mcgregor right the damn the punches coming from conor are going to be lessened obviously because he has no stam but on your chin wrestler uh smash doesn't have a great chin on your chin it's not going to affect you as much as it should all right so that that i really like that per let's go check it out um this one is a two-star jab a four-star straight a four-star hook a four-star uppercut and then a three-star body hook and then a four-star overhand so this is pretty much the nitty-gritty one this is like the khabib i wouldn't say khabib type but this is like the the, the wrestler with the stocky overhand i wouldn't say a tyron woodley but it, it's kind of like that all right um obviously the kicks are trash the only two star kicks they have is the late uh the, the um the rear leg kick and then the rear calf kick everything and then uh, the rear body house everything else is is it's one star you wouldn't expect uh fucking wrestlers to have great kicks anyway uh the clinch same thing all the clinch punches elbows are gonna be four star the clinches today are gonna be two star the league college high is gonna be three star pretty much the same thing same thing with the takedowns on um, the judo takedowns though they do not have four star judo takedowns but but they still have the the also the uh, osagari trip they still have this all right uh going to the ground their bjj get ups are absolute dog shit. it's trash this is more it's more he re wrestle heavy this is wrestle heavy like this is straight up crotch sniffing type shit that's why i say it's kind of like a b this is wrestle fucking heavy all the bjj reversals grind transitions get ups and sweeps are going to be one star and then all the uh, wrestling get ups transitions reversals and sweeps are going to be four star um i believe they do not that that is a bjj reversal the reversal from uh the arm trap from uh from full mount that is a uh, bjj reversal so they will not have that the arm bars on one star guillotines are three on orthodox chokes are three shoulder locks are three orthodox chokes are three um pretty basic stuff that you see they don't have a lot of uh submissions as well you see that they're missing a few all right then you look at the combos this one has three star boxing combinations and then uh the one star muay thai again they don't have kickboxing or traditional combinations and i believe this one is only three star because they have such a powerful overhand that gives them kind of a much leverage uh with the uh with the, they have a great lead they have great hooks uppercuts and overhand so it kind of gives them the leverage with the with the combos all right in my opinion the better out of two in my humble opinion is going to be smasher uh just because they have four star lead hooks uppercuts and then the overhand and then on top they i would say the top control is pretty much the same between the two but i will go with the smash a little bit better because they have a little bit more power and the health stats are a little bit better with that smasher all right so the next one is going to be balance all right y'all balance now this is for all the people who like uh they like boxing wrestling and kickboxing all into one all this this is going to be for you all right let's get into uh the first one which is going to be virtuoso virtuoso was added in that big big patch we had before the year before 2020 ended that big big patch uh when they added i can't i forget who they added i believe it was that brock lesnar patch if i'm not mistaken i can't remember but in that big patch they added virtuoso and it was another one that it was virtuoso and versatile i believe 
what was it i can't remember but i i know virtual also for sure was added so this is on a newer side of uh the calf thing um let's go back to it they have steel checks frontal assault razor wire slam boost and light glue uh, the best perk out of this one is going to be steel checks and razor wire they have the spinning elbow they have great elbows great knees but that still checks if you get some checks on some people and this virtuoso has some very good checks man i mean some very good kicks they have the oblique kicks and things like that man you're gonna get some real good Oh, man, you're going to get some real good damage off. All right, let's check the moves, man. They have a two-star jab, two-star straight, two-star lead hook, and it looks like they have a two-star everything except the body jab. All right, the body jab and the uh, body uppercut. All right, they have a three-star elbow. Uh, they have the 6 12. They have the haymaker, the spinning elbow, like I mentioned, the Superman jab, the Superman punch. All right, and they have the spinning back fist, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, they do. All right, let's look at the kicks. Now, the kicks, they have a, a lot of kicks. So they have, uh, like I said, the calf kicks. They have the basic rounds of calf kicks. They have the lead body side kick. They have the body side kick, the one that you turn with. Like Israel Adesanya and John Jones has. They have the lead front kick, a regular front kick. They have a switch kick. They have a uh, lead body front kick. Um, They have the axe kick, lead axe kick. The lead side kick to the head, side kick to the head. Lead leg side kick, the oblique kick, the body knee. Uh, they have flying knees as well um the spinning sidekick like i mentioned to the head and to the torso the other way very cheesy they have the switch kick like i talked about they have the spinning body sidekick and then they have the lead spinning body sidekick so the, this one is I, i'm not gonna lie this one is pretty nice in the flying knee which is a four star which is the best uh quote-unquote kick out of this whole thing now the clinch striking is pretty the clinch is pretty basic everything is going to be three stars going to be real around it same with the takedown it's going to be pretty real around it they're not going to have the best judo they're not going to have the best wrestling like i said this is pretty real around it uh calf now when you get get to the get ups all right it's going to be like this for pretty much all of the all the way through one star and two star for the bjj sweeps bjj transitions bjj uh reversals and sweeps same thing for the wrestling get ups transitions reversals and sweeps the grounded pound is meh it's okay i'm not really a big fan of the grounded pound with this one um the submissions they're gonna have one star on bars two star guillotines one star or an orthodox choke one star shoulder locks uh two star orthodox locks so this one does not have a uh, a vast majority of uh, submissions just like wrestler smasher um and, but this one right here one star boxing combinations kickboxing combinations are three star muay thai combinations are three star and the traditional transitions i mean tr traditional combinations are two star i really like this cap they have a vast majority of you know to pick from your arsenal the best i can compare this to is something like a john jones because he, he can pretty much do it all but they have the flying knee, spinning back fist, the both of the oblique kicks, side kicks, axe kicks, uh, lead side kicks to the head. They have all, they have it all. So I really like this calf right here. This was a pretty nice uh, addition to the game. All right, y'all, I'm gonna end it right there. If y'all want part two to this, man, let me know down below in the comments, man. If y'all want uh, more of this, man, like, comment, subscribe, share if you're new, join the family join the game man i will do part two to this if y'all want to man all right till next time man y'all know what time it is peace love prosperity love every single one of y'all man roll to 1.2k it's been your boy jamie may man do something productive with your day beating your meat is not productive it's not productive my guy until next time man it's been your boy jamie may and i'm out man peace